Hello, welcome to Stereo Pixel. This is introduction of Reaction Manager in 3D Studio Max. In 3D Studio Max, uh, we'll found several ways uh, to make a parent-child relationship between two objects, like uh, a link. Uh, say I have two objects like sphere and say teapot and I just want to uh, make a very child relationship between these two like um, I, I, I want that uh, the teapot will drive this uh, sphere so get the select and link and click on the child object and get under the parent and your relationship has been done it's a dependency node of the dependency uh, on, uh, on the teapot of the sphere has been done so but we don't have any other choice after making this uh, parent uh, we can't uh, uh, make any kind of uh, uh, fixation that uh, this will move uh, when and uh, uh, I mean how much it is going to uh, control by the uh, teapot because uh, uh, when I we, we are actually linking any object uh, with other uh, we are actually giving everything uh, every control over to the uh, the parent object so in the reaction manager we will actually create uh, we can uh, able to create some states or conditions uh, where we can say that uh, uh, whether uh, some of the movement or position or rotation whatever movement is depend on others uh, in certain position or uh, rotations so uh, let's have look so first of all we'll create uh, two very simple boxes make it very thin fine and just duplicate it okay fine so these are the suppose uh, these are the two uh, doorways it's a kind of a sliding door which is uh, actually you know have sensors uh, uh, just underneath this area so <coughs> uh, and whenever you 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 move on and towards the gate you'll see the gate uh, automatically uh, open open up and whenever you pass through and again it has been uh, no automatically close so uh, that's kind of a situation uh, I just want to create with uh, with these two uh, uh, doors uh, boxes so uh, I'll create a teapot over here I love this thing because this is the most powerful tool in Max I believe <laughs> so uh, let's say this is my character or this is someone uh, which is uh, coming towards the uh, door and I can make a condition over here and that uh, whenever the uh, teapot start to move uh, around f here the door will be start opening and whenever it cross uh, it will again uh, start closing so that is a condition I want to create and for creating that I uh, I want to uh, I have to use uh, animation and reaction manager uh, the reaction manager works in uh, you know you know uh, master and slave relationship uh, so here uh, my teapot will be the master and uh, these uh, two doors will be the slave and um, uh, in those way we are actually we are actually creating the condition uh, will we will we will create the condition according to the uh, teapot's y position because this teapot is going to towards this way y position and the uh, the doorways x position this one is going to the positive way and this one is going to be the negative way so <coughs> So let's start with how we can create that. So in the reaction manager, you will see the two window, and they are the reaction, and these are the states. Now, uh, initial states uh, will be very important. And that um, uh, start with the adding master. Just click on the add master and select on the teapot. You will see that the uh, uh, pop-up window has been come out to, to select which of these parameter are you going to be the master so I want my transform position and Y position to be the master and then I move to the add slave 
and I select this and transform position and the X position will be the slave another slave I want to add click on add slave and select this and select the transform X position <coughs> as a slave now the as my reactions has been uh, connected created and my initial states I mean this is the initial state when the teapot will be here these two uh, boxes will be exactly like this and that's been fixed so right now I I want to create that uh, the uh, the teapot will move towards this much position and nothing will happen so that I have to tell max that uh, 3d studio max that uh, y you just don't do anything uh, until it reach over here now select this and before that uh, you just have to on the create mode and then you just move the uh, teapot over here just uh, starting of the grid and say I don't want to change uh, these two's position so just say create a state and the position has been registered so and again and from now the teapot will move over here and at that position the box two boxes will move aside like this box is over here and this sliding door will move towards here so this is another state so I have to create that state so I have created that set and you see the graph has been changed also according to the positions of the uh, two boxes now this is another position and uh, in a in a in a third one I want to create over there that by this time the boxes will be again come closer to uh, set the uh, uh, door close so just pull this one to back and that's it and just create state now this is very important that uh, you switch off the create mode because if you switch on the create mode the uh, conditions will be uh, recorded automatically and that can create any kind of uh, unwanted results so now my reaction managers work has been done so now I can test this oh yes so the thing is now till now nothing is happening from now the door is opening and this is the highest moment and even further if we go I will see the a door has been closed so this is a kind of a sensor it's a very cool effect you can you can use the is use any kind of you know a mechanical uh, a movement or animations even uh, uh, through this uh, relationship this is very very important uh, even we can we will use this uh, definitely in the in a rigging uh, rigging chapters uh, you'll see in the uh, in the fingers uh, we can we can create some custom attributes and uh, make the connections uh, between th uh, the custom attribute and the rotation of the finger joints so uh, this is it uh, you can use reaction manager in, in in different ways in different kind of conditions so it's very very much useful so thank you very much